We're filming. Welcome to Biology in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about cells, cell theory, and the cell structure. Cell theory consists of three basic tenets. One, cells are the fundamental unit of life. Two, all living things consist of cells. Three, all, all cells come from pre-existing cells. There are two types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. The difference being that prokaryotic cells do not have membranes around their organelles. Eukaryotic cells do. There are some similar features between all cells. Um, we'll look at those first, and then we'll go to look at eukaryotic cells and the two types there. So all cells have a cell membrane. The cell membrane is made up of a biphospholipid layer, which is two, um, two layers of phosphate fat molecules, with the head being hydrophilic, the tails being hydrophobic on the inside of the membrane, and the heads on the outside of the membrane. The um, cell membrane is also consists of proteins, which act as receptors and transport vehicles. Um, and the, um, so the cell membrane is supported by the cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton consists of microtubules and microfilaments. All cells also have a cytoplasm. A cytoplasm is a fluid that fills up the interior of the cell. All cells have DNA and all cells have RNA which produces protein, which all cells also have. Now, looking at eukaryotic cells, we have plant cells and animal cells. Similar to both plant cells and animal cells, we have a nucleus. Inside the nucleus is a nucleolus, which produces RNA, and we also have DNA, which is the genetic library for all cells. Directly following the nucleus, we have the endoplasmic reticulum, which first we have the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which has ribosomes on it, which produce prote um, protein. Following that, we have a smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which does not have ribosomes, and that produces fat. Now, the fat and the protein then move on to the Golgi apparatus for packaging into vesicles for either use within the cell or outside of the cell. All cells also have a mitochondrion which is the powerhouse of the cell, that actually produces ATP. All cells also have lysosomes, which are the waste disposal plants of the cell. Now, plant cells have three differences from um, animal cells. Plant cells have chloroplasts, which um, is where they turn and where photosynthesis takes place, and that those consist of stacks of thylakoid um, called gram. Um, plant cells also have cell walls, which animal cells do not. Now, the cell walls keep plant cells from bursting, and they also give it a square shape as opposed to a rounder shape that animal cells have. One other difference between plant cells and animal cells is that plant cells have vacuoles for water storage. One thing that animal cells have that plant cells do not are centrioles that are right next to the nucleus and are active during cell division. And that is the basic information on cell theory and cells. Thank you.